The FIVB Beach Volleyball Swatch World Tour 2012 is underway and the planet's best players have come to Brazil in search of glory. Semi-final action to come right here from Brasilia. Well, hello and welcome to Brazil's capital city. Clayton Lucas here with you for the first semi-final of the day as the women's event reaches the business end with four teams left standing. It's Brazil versus Italy. Maria Antonelli and Talita Antunes up against Greta Ciccolari and Marta Menegatti. The weather conditions are just about perfect. There's quite a strong breeze gusting around the outside courts and it is noticeable down there on the sand for centre court. It's just about perfect conditions, really. The uh, players have had their warm-up. They've just taken to their seats ahead of their formal introductions to the crowd. We'll also get to see who's in charge for today when we meet the first and second officials. So the man on the stand and in charge, the man who says what goes, is Damien Searle from England. Got his call up in February for the Olympics as well. Just waiting to be uh, introduced to the crowd. Looks like he's taking a few moments to compose himself as well. It's just as uh, a daunting prospect to referee a match as it is to play in one at this level. He's a very experienced official and he knows what he's doing. He'll be ably assisted from the sand by Mexico's Miguel Ramirez. We wish those two the best of luck. And now it's time to meet the two teams. Italy seeded seventh for this one in your picture. As we get ready to go out to Marta Menegatti. There's a lot of defending. They can play 50-50 in one block and one defend and then swap it over. As out onto court comes Greta Ciccolari. Up against a very talented, a very experienced team in the form of uh, Maria Antonelli and her playing partner, Telita Antonez. Maria likely to be doing most of the defending. Well, Telita will try to impose herself at the net blocking. The Brazilian pairing through to the semi-final stage unbeaten. It's Italy who have had to come through the loser's bracket. They lost against China's Zhu and Zhang. But then they went on to beat Germany's Goller and Ludwig to make it this far. So the first set about to get underway. Brazil playing in yellow serving. It's Italy in blue receiving. And it's Antonelli with the ball. Nice side out to get things going for Italy. Early ind indications are that Ciccolari is going to be the go-to player. As far as Brazil are concerned, they're going to go and try and serve her and try and defend more of that ball cross-court. Brazil will be a little bit disappointed they didn't keep that one in play. It was right into their game plan. Well passed. Better dig this time. From Talita, and she fires that one down. Well, that's come off of an elbow, and it's going to stay in play. And that's a very lucky point for Italy. But they won't care a jot. They put themselves in the right place, got themselves in the way of the ball. It's come off a shoulder. first serve. Yeah. 
nicely done. Just waited until uh, Antonelli had run to the line. Plenty of cross court for the pokey. Delayed the play and loads of space to put the ball into. Another chance here for Brazil. Well taken. And the first points on the board. And something for the home fans to cheer about. No trouble at all putting that one away down the line. Chance for another point here for Brazil. Well taken straight down the middle. Nobody going in to block for Italy. And the transition play doing the job for Brazil. Straight down the middle, Deke, exactly where you want to go in that situation. <laughs> nice block, that's what Talita does well. Timing perfect, right across the net. The ball not coming back. Well, a 3-0 deficit quickly erased by Brazil. And now they're going to go back behind. Tactical serve from Salita, not quite coming off. She's trying to drop the ball short, bringing, or trying to bring Chicolari into the net to play it. And it just means that the person passing the ball has to do a lot of work. So they come into the net to play it, then they have to go back out again to get in the position to hit, then come back in to hit. It can be a very tiring process. We have to do that throughout the match. Chicolari with the serve. And an easy lead for Brazil. Now those of you who like your tactics will have noticed that one has already opened up on both sides of the court. Brazil are going after Chicolari and Italy are going after Antonelli. Nice cross court spike from Chicolari. Brazil in the right place, just couldn't contain the ball. That's a great serve. There's been a lot of pressure to the outside of the Brazilian passing unit. And in particular, Antonelli is being taken to that sideline all the time from the serve. Well, it was an error. Good serve for the ace, and then an unforced error from Antonelli. She's just starting to feel it a bit, and the errors and the lack of points are just getting to her. So important, when there's only two of you on the court, you've just got to forget the last play. Bounce back with a good one. Exactly what Antonelli has done with that side out. Gets a touch off the defender. Menegati helps it on its way out. Antonelli serving will come through to block. Oh, good play. Unfortunately for Brazil, they just couldn't quite get control of the ball. They kept it off the sand, but it was always Italy who were in the driving seat. Good reactions, really well done to get the ball back over the net, but they were always struggling. And in the end, it was an easy put away for Chicolari. wonder whether or not Antonelli saw the break from Chicolari at the net, decided to hit it hard and in so doing snatches at the ball, catches the top of the tape and helps it on its way out. It's just not quite going the way that Antonelli would like it at the moment. And that four point deficit has meant Brazil have called the timeout. Going according to plan so far for Italy. 
They have to keep their eyes off the scoreboard as much as possible. Just focus on what they're doing. The game plan's right. They're going after Antonelli. She's given up four points for them, which is why they have that lead. A couple of unforced errors. Uh, and an ace and a miss serve. And they all add up. Nicely done. The key when you have a nobody at the net is not to panic. And that's really well taken by Antonelli. Straight down the middle again. Antonelli's making a bit difficult with the serve. So is getting some good touches at the net. Just unable to convert them. You can play the ball again once you've touched it, if you're the blocker, that's okay. But the block does count as a touch of the three you're allowed, unlike indoors where the block doesn't count as a touch. Good lead, but you can see once again, Italy trying to go to that sideline, trying to take Antonelli away from her partner, Talita. It's a frustrating match so far for Brazil and for Antonelli. In the right place once again, but unable to take the sting out of the spike. Oh, good slow-mo picking up the touch. That's a lovely cut shot. Very difficult to stop that. Square onto the net, having to hit across the body. It's a lovely roll on it. Cipollari and Menegatti not reacting quickly enough. Has to go over. Free ball for Italy. Nice pick up. Well, it's a great rally, it's a great point for Brazil. Talita, who's had little to do at the net, off the back of a great pickup, gets a chance to have a swing, and she puts it away. Little change up to go after Menegatti, but it doesn't work. Technical timeout is upon us. The teams leave the court. Have another look at this little chop to the line. And it's always good to go after a player you've not who hasn't touched the ball, just to make sure they're paying attention. Negati was lovely pokey from her. Sometimes, as a player, when all you're doing is running into the net to set the ball, you don't really prepare yourself to pass. And every now and again you can be caught out, players will just make sure you are paying attention. If they can get a cheap point from you, you take it. back out and ready to go forward in the second half of this first set first to 21 in this best of three set match if we go to a decider it's the first to 15 you've got to win all of them by two clear points once again Brazil having to come up with the goods that one oh, just going right through the block field goal as it's sometimes referred to the net. Talita does get a good touch on it. And it's well put away from Antonelli. He follows up with the pokey. Chiglari had to change arms to get anything on the ball. 
and it's well played by Brazil. Their block defense working extremely well. It needs to be They're back to within a point. No touch. Damien Searle showing that it was out with his uh, signal. Completely missed Talita, completely missed the baseline. Well, that's an excellent slow-mo. We can see exactly that it was close, but no cigar did not catch Talita's arm. Italy's turn to call the timeout now that Brazil yeah, drawn back level. They just let their concentration slip slightly. And Brazil now in the groove. Well, these two teams have met on four previous occasions. Maria and Antonelli winning in Orland in 2010 and then in Stade in 2010. But it's uh, Chikolari and Menegatti who had the last laugh, as it were. They won in 2011 at uh, Mislavice and then they won in Stade, getting a bronze medal. Nice spike from Chikolari. Again, going cross court. Talita's leaving that for Antonelli to make the dig. Rather expecting her playing partner to have dug it. a good pick up another chance for Brazil oh but that's really well played Chikolari going with the pokey but very delicately done just creeping over the net and it caught Brazil by surprise in fact Talita was still moving backwards as the ball was played then it made it really difficult for her to get back to the net you have to be still in defense when the ball is being played Good pick up, but it's not going to stay in play. <laughs> Antonelli with the serve. Good lead. Hasn't really got the jump serve going. from the top of the net, this time goes in favour of Brazil. As it catches the net and goes above the outstretched arm of Chikolari. Talita to serve. Chase is on. Oh, it's just too far. Menegatti being asked to show what she can do spiking wise and this is what she can do oh, well played good scrambling from Italy and again that's a better chance here now for Italy if they can make something happen at the net no oh, it's just not going to quite work out for them Brilliant from Menegatti. Great chase initially to keep it in play and then in the perfect place to make the defensive play. But it just went a little too tight to the net and it favoured Brazil in the end. Italy though, still keeping their noses in front in this first set. Looking for a touch off the block. It's not going to be given. Menegatti thought she got it. Loads of line to go, and she's just hit that ball at around about three o'clock. If 
view is to put a clock face on it, and that's what's taken it wide of the line. So they're just hitting straight through the middle of it. Plenty of line to roll the ball over the block with. So a change up from Brazil here, going after Menegatti. Menegatti, after making the unforced error, comes back this time with a really quick hit inside cross court. Teddy's not getting her hands across the net. Got plenty of height, but not enough penetration. <laughs> Nicely done from Salita. Both teams changing the player that they're going after. Salita making no bones about this. Shaped up cross court and thumped it cross court. Just unable to finish it off, got stuck under the ball. Did Talita falling away from it, trying to make something happen. It's a good break, good touch. It just went behind her, couldn't get enough on it to see it over the net. Well, that was close, but it's given out by the lines judge. And uh, Chikolai being very helpful in saying, yeah, it was just a centimetre wide, unlucky. Damien Sir deciding he wants to come and have a look, even though the line judge has given it out. We can have another look. more out than in but some of that ball looked like it was shadowing the line did it touch the line no it didn't balls out does have to touch the line for it to be in and it doesn't touch the line at all so a good call from the lines judge One does find the line. Italy working hard in defence, but it's Brazil who come up with a line roll to secure the point. Talita getting ready to serve. It's going to come through to block. Defense. Both teams working really hard in this rally, and it's Brazil's point. Talita buries that one into the sand. It's now set point for the home side. Almost bouncing this one out of the stadium. Brazil on the verge of sneaking this first set. They were losing by four points at one stage. They don't have a set point chance, but it's saved by Chikolari. First team to get two clear will win the set. for Menegatti. Well taken. And the silence tells you all you need to know. Italy now have set point. A pokey perfectly placed. It's 
still in play. And it's all over. Italy take the first set. Menegatti makes the dig. Cicillari gets the pokey. And Italy, having had that four-point lead, have managed to hold on to the set. Well, that was a close call. It looked as if Italy had thrown it away when Brazil had clawed their way back and had a set point. Confirmation of the first set score, 22-20. Exactly the way it went in Stade in September in 2011 in the bronze medal match, 22-20 the first set. Will Brazil do what they did in the second set? In Stag, in the collapse, losing 21-14. Let's have a look at some of the highlights of the first set. Of a super slow mo camera doing its job, really bringing out the athleticism of the sport. Teams back onto court for the start of set two. It'll be Italy in blue to serve, Brazil in yellow will be receiving. Italy one set to love up, and one set closer to a place in the final. Well, a chance wasted by Menegatti. Brazil definitely on the back foot after this pokey dig from Menegatti, but then she just hit it straight back into the block of Talita. The cross-court roll was available, but look what she's done. She's hit it back into the block instead of taking on Talita to her left and going outside maybe for a wipe-off or a roll shot, and she pays the price. Could have gone either way. Perfectly fine for the ball to hit the net now in service. If it hits the net and goes into play, carry on. Good dig from Menegatti. Can she finish it off this time? Yes, she can. That's really well done. Goes to the line. Talita still moving backwards. Actually, she makes a break, she's still going backwards and was never going to get that ball unless it's hit at her. Poor defensive play from Talita. Great offensive play from Menegatti. Good leave. And Italy making a bright start in set two. Very nearly kept in play by Menegatti. It's all about forcing yourself to go after you've seen what's happened and getting that message from your brain, from your eyes to your legs, really. The faster you can do it, the quicker you can get to the ball. It's a fine line when you're playing defense between guessing and going watching and waiting and moving. Well, Italy are a little guilty of actually going after the line instead of just going at the left shoulder or the right shoulder of uh, Antonelli, get the ball going from left shoulder to right shoulder towards the line. Make it difficult for her, keep the ball coming across her body. And that way you're going to keep the ball in play, you're going to make her play the ball. But you don't want to make it easy. And serving out. <laughs> Cleverly done from Antonelli. Looked like she was going to hit it very hard. 
all the players have a look to see what's happening on the other side of the net. And Hans nearly knew where Italy were, and it wasn't where the ball ended. Ciccolari's poor pass puts Italy in trouble. Generally, you pass straight. Slightly towards the middle of court, your playing partner runs on a straight line into set. Oh, a little bit of luck. Brazil will take it as they move in front. 61 kilometers an hour. It wasn't really the speed. It was just the fact that it catches the top of the net, dribbles over, and it's an ace. You can't legislate for this. Could have just as easily landed on the side of Brazil. Now it's a cool timeout. Menegatti receiving a little bit of attention. She's got some strapping on her hitting shoulder. Place. It's very hot right now on court. Antonelli. Celita gets the wipe off. Brazil have another point. This time, Ciccolari gets turned by the ball. Doesn't keep her shoulders facing the net. Ball ends up in the crowd. That's a clever play from Brazil because Italy had switched positions. Ciccolari had moved over to the right side. Antonelli had spotted it, went after again. Ciccolari comes up with the goods with the cross-court spike. Just out of the reach of Menegatti, she gave it her all. It's Brazil's point at the end change. Block's done its job, Ciccolari's up there, she's forced the ball to go over the top of her, but Menegatti not quick enough to get it back in play. Italy's turn to come up with the unforced errors. It's almost as if Italy have switched off in this second set, having won the first. Pokey was signalled very early by Cigolari. Unfortunately for Brazil, they couldn't ma make the most of it. And Italy getting a second bite of the cherry. And Nagati rolls it to the line. And they have their side out. That's a perfect serve, really, from Italy. I mentioned it earlier on, going from the left shoulder to the right shoulder of Antonelli, she doesn't move her feet, she's unable to contain the ball. And Italy have another chance from the serving line. Well, it's a tactic, it's pretty simple, and it's brought up two points for Italy in a row, just from a good serving strategy. 
pressure now back on Brazil. And it's three in a row. Chicolari holding fast at the net. And Antonelli coming in to play this, catches the net. Antonelli unloads on that one. She passed the ball a little further into court. Nice put away. One to forget from Shikilari. set to love day. Italy have to keep the unforced errors to an absolute minimum, keep the pressure on Antonelli from the serving line. It's all of that confidence. And Antonelli gets up and just says, no, I'm going to hit this. I'm taking you on. She's unstoppable. <laughs> nice change up from Chikolari. Kept Brazil thinking she was going cross court right up to the moment she hit the ball. Little change of the hand. The ball goes to the line. Again, Antonelli shapes up to hit it hard and does exactly that. It's too powerful for Italy to handle. done by Menegatti, little cut shot, ball going down in front of Brazil, who is still moving backwards. <laughs> this time, Antonelli snatching at the spike. reach up into the ball. And 
Italy have drawn level. Right back in this second set. Come Menegatti and Ciccolari. Menegatti hits the cross court ball. And they silence the crowd. as Antonelli's moving into the ball and it flows she can really unleash onto it as soon as she gets stuttered or has to stop she struggles for height and that's when the mistakes happen the net comes into play brilliant reactions Talita thought about playing the ball as it came towards and let it go. And as it hit the bottom of the net, it popped up nicely for her to put it in play. And then Antonelli to drop it short. block from Chicolari. Standing fast at the net. Gatti didn't move her feet quickly enough. A couple of steps, she could have walked in and picked it up. She just falls forward, doesn't take the step needed. And it was a relatively straightforward defensive play. Good white from Chicolari. Talita going for height, getting her hands across the net. Chikolari serve. Talita taking the opportunity to go over on two. to the net. The nearest it touches. It doesn't matter though, it lands in. Somehow it stays in play. Scrappy rally, and it's Brazil who take it. Everybody fighting, but no one can get full control of the ball. And in the end, it's a little pokey from Talita. Swing from Menegatti. Loading on that one. Too good for Brazil.
Obviously not getting any luck. Brazil now having a set point. Toledo will serve, she'll come through to block. Chikolari hitting to stay in the set. Oh, and she's put down, massive block from Talita. Brazil have leveled it, we're going to a decider. Really committed to this one, Talita did. It's a big block. All over it. Well, the captains come together to uh, toss the coin again with Damien Searle. To see who's going to serve, who's going to receive. Confirmation of the scores on your screen. It's now a race to 15. And his captain. She's still checking with Talita as to what she's going to do. And it is time for a deep breath. Chikolari, 29 years of age. Eddie Gatti, 21. And the old stakes were just giving some words of advice to the youngster as we have a look at some of the highlights from the set. Na quarta parte do final de partida, convidada a Rússia por dois sets a zero. Two teams with their sights firmly fixed on the Olympic Games in London. The qualifying period started in January last year, finishes on July the 1st this year. And both of them, having got to this stage, have accumulated some decent points. And for one team, a chance to go in the final and get some serious points. It will come down now to this set as to who is going to finish equal fifth and who. Pick up. Talita with a swing. Another good pick up. Minigatti read the line roll very well. And Italy work very hard and get a point, deservedly so. Antonelli thought Talita, having turned around, was going to chase after this, but she turned around to see where it was going. And that was Antonelli's ball. Mistake here, there's no way they're going to stop this. Lovely swing. <laughs> so goes straight down the middle. Teams change ends on multiples of five in the decider as it's the first to 15. Perfect place to put the ball in that situation. Talita's done that, they paid dividends. Nice high ball in from Antonelli. And Talita able to go and hit. Oh, 
that's just one of those things. Salita's made a great touch. She's turned to play it. Antonelli thought that she was going to play it. And in so doing, as Talita plays this, she actually takes it away then from Antonelli. As a coach, you'd rather see both players going after the ball than neither of them. Poor pass from Antonelli. Chicolari serve. Well, they know this is coming, the cross court spike. Menegatti giving up too much cross court, giving up too much to her right. She needs to step to the outside of the court and force Antonelli to hit inside to the middle. Nice wipe. You don't have to hit the ball hard. You certainly don't get any more points for doing so. Antonelli's all about going up into the air, not about going across into Utili's court space. Very narrow block. Good touch. Chikanari's going to make it. Well, fortunately, though, Chikanari trying to then set up an attack for Minigatti instead of just making a touch. If you'd have just played this middle of court, that meant uh, Italy could have hoisted it high, could have reset their block defence. As it is, they give it straight to it, Brazil. And give them the point. Has to come over. Oh, it comes over brilliantly. Brazil are back in the game, they're back in the set. And the pressure's back on Italy. Down from Talita, just uh, moved a little bit to the left to open up the cross court. Watch your body shake. Minigatti ran away from the ball. Well, I was going to say, well played, Chikolari. She came in, passed it, moved back out, gave herself space to hit. But then comes up with the unforced error. Too much on this one. It misses the baseline. And Brazil have the point. Huge draw from Talita. It's another big point for the team in yellow as they start to edge away from Italy. A frustrating touch from Menegatti. Italy, it is, of course, the timeout. Take a breath, clear the sand, take some fluid, refocus, come back out onto court.
example of the different timings used. Attacker goes up, blocker goes up after. That's a big point for Brazil off the back of the timeout and a big lead. Too much on that one from Antonelli. She could see the space was into the corner. The ball wouldn't come down in time. Oh, that was close. from Menegetti and a good finish as well still battling hard are Italy good chase good touch up early and then able to finish the ball off Loads. Brazil edging closer to a place in the final. good one from Italy and they come up with the point what a rally that was excellent play on both sides initially Antonelli making a good dig and you just thought she was going to put this away but in the end though the pokey from Italy does it great pick up from Chicolari and it's Anton it's uh, Menegatti who puts the ball down Space for Brazil. Chicolari doesn't front Antonelli and take away the cross court, doesn't drop an arm inside. Still in play. Italy have to reset their block defense quickly. But not quickly enough. Antonelli puts the ball down, the crowd go wild. their timeout. Brazil haven't had one. There's no indication that Brazil would have called a timeout on the back of that round because they weren't appointed in the driving seat. So you're out five minutes for medical timeout. That's indeed what has been called. 
it looked for all the world, didn't it? Basically, with that crank, and it looked like Chicolari was pulling on her, her toes, and the way she's doing that there, that, that looks like a cramp issue, which is to, isn't a reason to call a medical timeout. Let's have a look at some of the uh, slow mos. Players are uh, responsible to for their uh, well-being and to be fully hydrated and able to play. You wouldn't want to go stretching a calf if you uh, pull the calf muscle. If you've got a little tear there, and you're going to make it worse, aren't you? Well, we do hope that Italy and uh, particularly Chicolari are going to be okay to come back out and try and finish this off. Looking like they will. It's Brazil in the box seat. back out ready to go again this is the final set of this first semi-final here in Brasilia Talita will serve Brazil for Brazil she'll come through to block Talita hammers it, and that brings up a match point now for Brazil. Chicolari looks to be struggling still. Brazil take full advantage. That's a wonderful swing. Talita serves again. Menegatti to keep Italy in it. And she does, off the block of Talita. And the first match point is saved. Teams change ends Brazil now with two golden opportunities to put themselves in the final. One side out required. Menegatti with the serve for Italy. Antonelli. She's done it at the first time of asking. And it's Brazil who moved through to the final. They've beaten Italy by two sets to one. A simple enough task in the end for Antonelli. As she hammers the ball straight through the block, straight into Menegatti and out of play. And the team who've been unbeaten so far remain that here in Brasilia as they advance to the final. Well, some messages for the loved ones. And on home Sam in front of the home fans, it's Brazil who have done it here in this first semi-final. Confirmation of the scores, 20-22, 21-18, 15-11 to book their place in the gold medal match. Italy will have to make do with uh, fighting for bronze. <laughs> 